There is about 1.5 million animal species identified by scientists, and even more than that awaiting discovery. Animals are the most varied living things on the planet. Some of these animals we could perceive as weird or creepy. That's a result of many factors which will be tackled in another video. However, one of the things that make us see some animals weird looking is if we saw them for the first time, which makes sense evolutionary speaking. For example, if one of our ancestors stumbled upon a new animal for the first time, it's better to perceive the animal as if it's weird looking rather than cute and cuddly, which makes it a threat. This increases the chance of surviving, as in this case, the ancestor would avoid the animal at all. Oof, okay, so enough with the dramatic intro, and let's head straight to the video. In this video, we'll be counting down five of our top picks for the weirdest animals alive. But before continuing the video, please subscribe and push on the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded. As the night falls in the jungles of Madagascar, a weird looking animal emerges from its hiding place. It's called the Ai Ai. The Ai Ai is an endangered primate that lives primarily in the east coast of Madagascar. It's mostly related to lemurs, which are a super family of primates, also found in Madagascar. However, what makes the Ai Ai different is its unique adaptations, like its huge middle finger. The Ai Ai uses its middle finger to tap on trees and listen carefully with its huge ears for insect larvae, their main food source, exposing them by chewing on with its rodent-like teeth and extracts them with its middle finger. If it doesn't find larvae, it will eat fruits, nuts or just go with fungi. The Ai Ai is threatened due to habitat loss and hunting as some natives kill any Ai Ai they encounter because they believe it brings bad luck. The duck-billed platypus has denied all the rules of biology and nature and had taken a weird niche. The duck-billed platypus is a semi-aquatic mammal with a duck-looking bill, hence the name, and a venomous stain found in a male hind legs. Yeah, also it lay eggs. This is how extreme one could go to seek attention, really. Duck-billed platypuses are endemic to Eastern Australia, including Tasmania. It is semi-aquatic, living in small streams and rivers. Also, it's carnivorous, with a main diet of annealed worms, insect larvae, freshwater shrimp, and crayfish that it digs out of the river bed with its snout or catches while swimming. It has webbed paws and short legs that allows it to swim and dive easily. Although it has a wide tail like a beaver, it doesn't use it for swimming. It just uses it to store fat. Wait, what? Okay, whatever works for you, buddy. Platypuses are from the very few mammals that are actually venomous. The venom is made in venom glands that are connected to hollow spurs on male's hind legs. While the venom effects are described as very painful, it's not lethal to humans. Axolotl, also known as the Mexican water fish, is an alien looking salamander species. Axolotls are very unusual as an amphibian, as they reach adulthood without metamorphosis, which means that unlike other amphibians, they don't lose their gills and develop lungs. However, they stay in their larval form and are mostly aquatic. They are only native to Lake Xochimalco and Lake Chalco in the Valley of Mexico. Lake Chalco is now drained and Lake Xochimalco remains a remnant of its former self existing mainly as canals. So they have it tough, these guys, with only about 950 individuals living in the wild. However, they're abundant in captivity. They're used in research because of their ability to regenerate many body parts, from limbs to lung tissues, 
ovaries, and even some parts of the brain. Also, they are popular as pets. Seriously, who wouldn't like to keep this cute alien? If you think that chameleons are the masters of camouflage, then you should think again. You probably didn't see an animal on this branch. Oh, there you are. Leaf-tailed geckos or Europlatus is a genus of geckos, with about 14 species belonging to it. All species are endemic to Madagascar and its coastal islands. In the making of this episode, it was very hard to choose one leaf-tailed gecko species, so I decided that I'll talk about the genus as a whole. The reason for that is how bizarrely weird and beautiful each and every species is. They're named leaf-tailed geckos because of their highly evolved tails that resembles leaves for camouflage. Some of them even have tails that look like a rotting leaf. Leaf-tailed geckos are nocturnal lizards, which means they are only active at night. Larger species spend most of the daylight hanging vertically with their heads down, resting on tree trunks, looking like a leaf hanging, as a camouflage to avoid predators. While the other seven species spend more time in bushes and small trees, imitating twigs and leaves for the same reason. When they are active at night, they move about in the rainforest, feeding on insects and land snails. However, much is unknown about their diet, ironically. Leaf-tailed geckos are experts in avoiding predators, apart from the mimicry of leaves and branches, but also through a number of astonishing behaviors. When a gecko is faced by a predator, it will flatten its body to avoid shadow and open their jaws wide to show a frightening bright red mouth. Some even emit loud cries and try to bite. This is so frightening to predators that the Madagascar locals fear them. But mostly it's hard to see them because of their incredible camouflage. Some species like the Europlatus sequoia even can change its skin color to match its surroundings. The giant leaf-tailed gecko is very interesting as it has the most number of teeth of any terrestrial animal. It has about 300 teeth. Under the great tropical rainforests of Madagascar lives one of the most bizarre critters found on land. It's the lowland streak tenric. The lowland streak tenric is from the family of tenrics, all of which live exclusively in Madagascar. Tenrics are widely diverse. Due to convergent evolution, some resemble shrews, others resemble hedgehogs, opossums, or even mice. They occupy a wide range of habitats. Some are aquatic, some are boreal, and others are terrestrial. So they are all over the place in Madagascar. However, what is unique about the streak tenrics is the unique method they use for communication. The hard creatinous quills located in the mid dorsal region act as a sounding device. Movement of these quills causes the tips to rub together and create a high frequency sound. It is thought to be used for communication between mothers and their young, and a warning signal to predators. The streak tenric is the only mammal who uses this method to generate sound, which is called stridulation, a method more commonly found in insects and snakes. The lowland streak tenrics dig long shallow burrows that they live in as family groups. They are active both during the day and night. When they are active, they may be seen stamping their feet on the floor to increase earthworms' activity, their primary food, for easier foraging. If food is scarce and the temperature is low, they enter a state called torpor, which is a survival tactic used by multiple animal species to survive winter months. It involves a lower body temperature, breathing rate, heart rate, and metabolic rate. This conserves energy for them to survive winter. And yeah, by the way, there is a high land streak tenric. Sorry, Marks. If you liked the video or want to see more videos like this one, like, share, subscribe. And write down in the comments what would you like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.